So breaking tonight, a man charged with murder and moments ago facing a judge accused of dismembering a body and then carrying some of the body parts back to his home. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim live at Bronx Criminal Court with what just went down. Stefan? Well, Sandra and Bill, Tuesday, cops found a torso and arms in a Bronx apartment. Yesterday, they found the victim's head and legs inside a freezer in an apartment in Harlem. Today, police arrested the man who lives there. He is the man alleged of committing a particularly heinous and evil crime, 48-year-old Sheldon Johnson, accused of killing a man and dismembering his body. But Johnson says they have the wrong man. I'm innocent. The victim. 44-year-old Colin Small. Tuesday night, police found his torso and arms inside his apartment in the high bridge section of the Bronx after the super called cops. Orlando Medina says a tenant called him around 1 a.m. Someone was pleading for their life. She okay. says she heard two gunshots. Someone saying, uh, please don't kill me, I got family, something like that. Yeah. And then two more gunshots. Okay. Pretty quickly. Coming in, coming out of the apartment with Different articles of clothes, different wigs, you know. So uh, it's weird. Everything was observed by the surveillance cameras. Right. All those things, are the, you know, those things I see, I saw. Prosecutors allege at one point he was seen on video leaving the victim's apartment wearing the victim's clothing. Then last night, investigators say they found the victim's head and legs in Johnson's freezer at his Harlem apartment on Fifth Avenue. The medical examiner says the victim was shot once in the head. The allegations sending shivers through the victim's Bronx building. It feels like the devil just crawled through here. Johnson is an ex-con who today works as a criminal justice reform advocate. Seen here in a Facebook picture he posted with Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg. He served about 25 years behind bars for attempted murder and has a long rap sheet filled with other violent crimes. This is Johnson on Joe Rogan's podcast last month. I had a wife. I had family still. My son was growing up. Um... He was hearing stories about my so-called uh, notoriety, and um, I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to be that dad. Johnson went on to talk about turning his life around. Got my GED. Um, I left the gangs alone, which was a benefit for them because you know I was what you call an authoritarian. I was a rule guy. I'm, I'm still a rule guy. I like rules. You know, I like rules, I like structure. The courtroom was filled with his supporters at his arraignment tonight, with one wearing a jacket reading, specializing in wrongful conviction cases. The executive director of his employer, the Queen's Defenders, also at court, they all declined comment. Now, Johnson nodded confidently at his supporters as he entered the courtroom. He's been charged with murder, manslaughter, and criminal possession of a weapon. The judge remanded him. He's due back in court on Monday.